For LEGO Star Wars' 25th anniversary, they have celebrated by making seven LEGO Star Wars anniversary minifigures that they have been sneaking into sets. So today we're going to be ranking all seven from the worst to the best. At number seven, we have Young Leia. This one is going to be coming in the droid pack. And while not just that I don't really like the droid pack set, but also this is my least favorite figure. Overall, it's just the one that I would want the least. Like, it is a great representation of Young Leia. And I like her little droid that we get with her, but this is just not a figure I would ever be wanting, both because it's not very exciting and because, frankly, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show didn't end up being all that great, so I don't really want more stuff from it. But the execution is good. It's not a bad figure, but the one I want the least. At the number six spot is the newest figure, the one that just leaked, and so I'm going to be just showing you the leaked images. By the time this video come out, it might have been officially revealed, but I don't believe it will be. And this is the pink astromech droid. Now, this is just one out of left field, and it's a fun figure. I don't think it's canon. It has been in the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game, and so maybe that's where they're taking the inspiration from. But overall, it's a great executed figure for a pink astromech droid you couldn't want any better. Like, it's fun, but... And the set it's in is great, so that's an easy buy, both for the figure and the actual set itself. But it's just not a figure I would ever go out looking for, and so it finds its spot here at number 6. At number 5, we have the saddest character on the list, and this is Cal Kestis, because if you just lined up all these figures together, Cal Kestis would be the one that I would want the most. But sadly, LEGO's execution here is terrible. You're really going to make a Cal Kestis figure and not give him a poncho? Also, no arm printing really lacks here and makes the figure look very bland. I also think it could have included a BD-1. That's not necessarily a need, though. What was a need, I think, was a dual lightsaber like he holds in the games. And so it's a bit lame just having his single one. And so overall, I think that this is just a lazy figure with lazy execution. Now, he's in a great set, so I think a lot of people will still pick him up for that set itself. But as the Cal Kestis figure, I am super disappointed. And it's just a very sad sight to see. So he's going to come all the way down at number five. At number four is Clone Trooper 5s, and this one has stirred a lot of conversations in the community. The bad. No hairpiece is unfortunate if you want to display that beautiful head accurately, at least, I suppose. The mega ammo pouch from Captain Rex is back, and no, I didn't want to see that nice torso detail we could see otherwise. You'll never believe this one, but there's no cloth camera. At least he can sit down now. Because if he had a cloth camera, according to LEGO Star Wars designers, he wouldn't be able to sit down. Don't, don't ask me how I did that. The cloth pauldron on top was like a nice try, but it's uh, it's flat. Our final category, the ugly. Community about the execution of this figure. A lot of people thinking that the helmet was simply just the wrong place to go, and a lot of people being sad of the non-inclusion of waist cape. And overall, I think that it's a fine figure. I think that it was executed fine. I do think the helmet could have used a little bit of improvement. I do think a waist cape could have definitely helped this figure to upgrade it to that elite status. Overall, I think it's fine execution, a fine choice, like not my favorite one, but also a very cool figure that we haven't had before. And so overall, I think it's right in the middle of the pack of these figures and comes in at number four. At number three, I think is the most surprising character on this entire list, and this is Darth Malak. I'm not going to lie to you, when they revealed this figure, I had to go look him up, watch some of the content on him to understand who this character was. I did not know who Darth Malak was, and so to be able to have a character so out of this realm, so new and interesting, it's just a very cool thing. On the execution level, his execution is great. Admittedly, the set isn't one that I really wanted to buy. I totally bought this set right here just because I wanted the Darth Malak figure. And so the set is a bit of a letdown, but for the figure, it is great execution, a weird pick, but a fun one, like not one I would ever go looking for because I didn't know who he was, but he's a cool figure to have. And so a great solid figure at the three spot. At number two, we have a awesome figure in Nine Nub. Now, this is just one that we've been wanting for so long. It's crazy that a pretty big character in Return of the Jedi has waited this long to get a figure in Star Wars, especially because the LEGO Star Wars team loves the original trilogy so much. And it's so it's surprising that this figure has been held off this long and he just looks great. I'm so glad that they didn't cheap in. They gave him a new mold for his head, making it a beautiful figure overall, executed perfectly, and one that the fandom has wanted for a very long time, including myself. This is a very desirable figure, one that I absolutely love. It's in a solid set, and so overall, I absolutely love this choice by LEGO, and so it's an awesome figure coming in at number two.
But at number one is the character that I never realized I wanted in LEGO until it was revealed, and this is Grieve Karga. Now, this is just such a great figure. Both the fact that we haven't had him in LEGO before is a little strange. He's in lots of pieces of Star Wars content, so it's strange that we haven't gotten a figure before. But also, the execution on this figure is by far the best of this anniversary lot, and one of the best executions on a figure, I think, in years. He actually got the cape treatment, the extra armor treatment, detailed all over with printing and it's just a beautiful figure overall some people don't love how green he is i think it really makes the figure pop and really makes him a just amazing figure and so while this isn't one that i'd necessarily been asking for it's definitely one that we've needed and when i saw the execution i absolutely loved this figure and so i picked up a set that i'm not going to lie i didn't really want just for this figure because i think it is one of the best lego Star Wars figures they have made in years and so that's why it comes in here at number one Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this ranking video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below so that I will be able to afford all of these sets. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorite and least favorite figure down below. And let me know what more rankings I should do on the channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys later on Bruce Core. Bye.